Hi guys, and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. So today we're going to be learning how to build a minibus, and this is another build that's been built by TJC05. So there'll be a link in the description to his Planet Minecraft page uh, if you guys want to go and check him out. Uh, but here's the minibus. Obviously, I've edited it a little. I've edited it a little bit. We're going to be doing the actual bigger full version uh, that he's got on Planet Minecraft. But all I've done is just shortened it by one block, just like I've done with the other bus. And I think it looks. It just looks great either way. Uh, if it's three wide or four wide, it looks absolutely fine. Obviously, if you just want to make it smaller, just um, yeah, instead of using two of these middle blocks, you know, going across, and you'll see when we go into the tutorial, I uh, just use one, and that's what you get. But looks awesome. Really, really cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to, to my tutorial world and we'll get us started on this one. Okay, so here I am on my tutorial world. So the base materials we're going to need for this tutorial are black wool, quartz slab, quartz stair, block of quartz, some sort of colour. Now I'm going to go with cyan just to do something a little bit different. So I'm going to use cyan wool on this one. Uh, but you can also go for like, you know, greens that's been used here, reds, you know, just go through and pick a colour uh, that you want to have for this brand or this, you know, type of minibus if it's actually like you know multiple money buses around uh, that kind of stuff also gonna need a button get any gray stained glass gray stained glass pane and note block as well uh, for the front part but it's, it's gonna be really easy um, so this is obviously a four wide bus but you can make it three wide just by ignoring one of these middle bits it's literally the same on each of these middle bits so you can just do that that's what I've done on my one um, completely up to you though if you want to do that or not but anyway grab your black wall and we're just gonna place down one block and leave a two block gap and place down that mother block there's your little gap in between then what we're going to do is we're going to go one two three four and five we're going to go to the sixth block so you've got a five block gap in here so you go one two three four five as you can see there then do the same with the other wheel so you should be able to just line up that's what you get for your wheels so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our buttons and just put these on the outside just to make it look more like wheels um it actually does surprisingly there we go now what you can do, grab your quartz stairs and right on here we're going to do an upside down stair on the wheel and go across with these. There you go, so you've got your upside down stairs like that. Now on the side as well, we're actually going to join upside down stairs as well, just going across like that. Now at the back what we're going to do is we're going to go out two. And we're going to wrap around those stairs backwards or, or upside down even. <laughs> there we go, so you get that little bit there, it looks like a, a, bit, a bit of an overhang. And the same on the other side, we're just going to go across with these upside down stairs just to join it up. Now, this is the floor, or floor colour, or, or pattern, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down my notebook there. Um, now you can use wood or something. I think that's what's been used in this one. Yep, so we've got wood in this one. I'll go inside that one in, in a, uh, probably at the end, so you guys get an idea of the interior. There we go. So we're going to use wood, for example. That works fine. Now get rid of that. Grab your note block again. I'm just going to put two on the front here. So that's where your engine block is. Oh, yeah, actually your engine. Yeah, that's where it is. Then what you're going to do is you're going to grab your coloured wall and put one on each side. Then we're going to leave the one on top of the uh, wheel. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Leave this one, it's going to be a door. Then we're going to have two here, like that. Then on the back, right at the back, on these two, we're going to have two there. But not on this edge piece, not on that bit. So yeah, two here. Here we go for a door. One, two, three, four. And that's it, yep, one, two, three, four. It's going to count to five then. Uh, like that. Grab your quartz stair, and we're just going to put one upside down on this wheel arch. And the same on the other side like that. So we get those ones. Then what we're going to do is if you grab your grey stained glass, we're just going to go across the top of these ones. And if you're using note blocks, you will have to make sure you shift click or sneak click. Um, I actually can't see it. There you go. So make sure that you actually click like that and then, you know, you know what I mean. Um, just shift or whatever it is on the console versions. I don't know what it is on the console versions because I don't have one. Anyway, <laughs> just wrap it around the back there on each side. Also put your glass pane on the side here. And on the side here, like that. Now we're going to put some more detail stuff in a bit. Then grab your block of quartz. We're going to have two blocks here. One, two. Leave a block. Then go one. Leave this block here. That's going to be your door. Then go one. Leave a block. And then this one should be built up. Like that. And on the back as well. One, two. And same over here. Just copy this on the other side. Okay. And then what we're going to do. Grab our grey um, gray stained glass pane. To put these in the gaps so we're gonna go one two there for a little door and one's on the sides one there two there for the door i think the doors on both sides as well yes yeah, so you got doors on both sides that's really fine if you're american you don't have to switch it around or mostly most europeans actually don't have to switch it around which is good okay above this window here if you grab your stairs we're just going to wrap stairs around we're going to go one two three and four 
four stairs there. Then we're going to wrap this here. One, two, and do the same. One, two, three, four. Just going to use stairs just to wrap around. It makes it look really interesting. Now on the top here, put in... Actually, oh, I've done it wrong. Two, three, four, five. That's gone weird somewhere. What have I done? Ah, we need to go forwards one more. Okay, ignore me there. So, move this one forwards just by one. So it's not above that window. It's actually uh, one further than on that window. And then fill this up. Just for your glass. So I've got your glass there. It's quite interesting. I really like the roof on this one. Then we're just going to use slabs on top of these. Just caught slabs like that. And the same on the front. Like that. That gives us the base design. Pretty cool, I think. Anyway, what we're going to do now, if we grab our signs, we're going to grab normal buttons, we're going to grab wooden buttons, and what else are we going to grab? Um, redstone torches, and normal torches, ladder, and also levers, or lever. Lever or lever? It's completely up to you guys. Right, so first things first, the front. Now, what I did is I put on torches and as you guys have seen before this is something I've learned from Huntington uh, it just makes the actual light and it makes it look like headlamps the other things of course you can do is you good old item frames and also using your um, stained blocks and you can actually put those in or both of those in so that you get like that which looks a lot better but um, it depends on how much lag you're gonna be getting from this if you get a lot of lag it's probably item frames item frames do lag out the game loads Anyway, if you grab your ladders, just put these on the front. Now you are going to have to sneak, click. Make sure to sneak and then click on these. Then with your levers, put those underneath the, the, bits of the uh, mirror pieces. Just to make it look like you've got wind mirrors on it. Then what you're going to do is if you grab your sign, just put two on the top here. Now this could have a number. So what we can actually do is, for example, we can put 76. Let's go really simple. 76. And that's the number of this mini bus or whatever. Now at the front, this is the best place where you can actually credit the designer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do TJC05 on this one. Now because this is an uneven, that's kind of a little bit different. But what you can do with the other sign is I would do minibuses. You know, so you can like do it as like TJC05 is the company and then uh, the, it's minibuses. There you go, you get stuff like that. Um, and I'm going to have to keep on looking at this because I can't remember. But right in the middle, we're just going to put down normal signs. So I just do three normal signs on this bit. Then what we're going to have to do, we've got two signs on there. So this can actually, if you wanted to, have the number on it. So we had 76, I think. So we have the number on the side there. I don't know if it has it on the other side. It does. Okay, so we can do the same on the other side as well. Uh, right here, so just 76. I mean, it can be any number that you guys want. I'm just going to put our three signs down here. Like that. Now what we've got, we've got a button there, button there, and a couple of buttons there. So let's do that. So what we've got, wooden buttons, right behind the front wheel, we're going to go there, there. Then with your uh, stone buttons, we're going to go there and there. Just make it look quite detailed, it's really cool. So we have one there, one there, and then one there, and one there. Just like that. At the back, what we're going to do is we're going to have a button here, and a button here. And what I did is I used redstone torches just to give out a tiny bit of light. Which looks like um, your, your stop kind of things, if you know what I mean. There you go, we're going to put these in, and you can also put in, you know, your item frames like that. If you prefer that, you can even get rid of the um, actual redstone torches if you wanted to. Uh, but it's really up to you. There we go, so we get that. And then, of course, on the back, what we're going to do, we're going to put in signs on each side. Oops, not there. And we're going to do credit TJC's for his design again. We've got TJC05, and this is what I always do with my sons. I always put these lines on them. I don't know why, but I think it looks better. There you go. And there it is. And that's what we get. So, pretty cool design overall. This is designed by TJC. So if we have a look in the interior, because I did promise you that. There we go. So what he's done in the back. Got a nice little piece, or a couple of seats on the back. We've got some buttons as well. Uh, even got a table type thing. Um, then on this side we've got a seat going sideways, and then we've got the actual driver's seat in here with a little bit of a, a thing, and also the lever or, or the actual handbrake. There we go, not the lever. You know what I mean. But um, that's the interior design. Uh, pretty cool. But this design is made by TGC05. You can actually see the detail of what happens when you put stuff on signs as well uh, compared to this one. So always put stuff on your signs. 
think this makes it look better. Um, but yep, designed by teacher C05. Go and check them out on Planet Minecraft. Um, but yep, hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.